Yo, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to Get Jacked. Hope y'all are having a great day. I'm having a great day because this game, No Man's Sky, is finally released for PC. Now, it's kind of been a long-awaited process. It's been a few years since they announced this game coming out. Now, it's one of the largest open-world games that you can actually find out there. Uh, probably the largest because of the huge galaxy that you're set in. Now, there's a lot of stuff on YouTube about No Man's Sky, just impressions and stuff like that. Now, I want to skip that part. I've got my ship all upgraded. And we're just going to test out and check out some of the awesome places that you can go to. Uh, they're all procedurally generated, so I hope you enjoy, and let's check this out. Alright, so here we are. Now, I'm just kind of on this. It's actually a really abundant planet. I tried to stick to this one just so that I could scan all the animal life and plant life because you get a lot of units and stuff for that. But I saw this awesome structure out in the distance. Wasn't sure what was going on with it, but these ruinous structures, uh, they're usually you can be, they can be found by searching for the, I believe, monoliths. It might just be ruins. Uh, the monoliths might be a little bit different, uh, but they both give you these words. Now, there are three kind of factions in the game and you want to learn their languages so you can actually you know communicate and not be a belligerent fool uh, you want to be able to communicate with all these people there's nothing there's no one of your species if that makes any sense uh, I don't really know what species I am but I don't speak any of these languages so I'm assuming this is not my home galaxy <laughs> I don't know I don't know I don't know who I where I fit into the global puzzle but anyway uh, this is kind of the structure where is the there should be something should be a beam or something that I can activate hold on one second let's see here but look at how cool it is by the way that's why I kind of wanted to show it off at first because this is a really like these are probably the coolest looking structures you can find so we've got this okay all right so this is gonna open up and what are you saying to me ah, so knowledge paves the way to the understanding of probability the atlas spoken fragments the atlas interfaces are their shadows the monoliths are their scattered children together they convey their wisdom in the infinite okay so this is where we're gonna learn some words we'll kind of figure out some Corvax stuff now this will increase our standing with the Corvax faction in general um, I've also got quite a few words for the Gek um, I haven't seen the I believe the third one are some kind of Vikings uh, so I'm not sure how those ones uh, those words are I haven't seen any of those ones quite yet it all depends on which part of the galaxy you're in now Let's see here. I think that's all I'm going to be able to find over here. I just wanted to see this, uh, this rupture, or, <laughs> this rupture? <laughs> Ruinous structure, uh, here at the beginning. So, let's find something else interesting. We'll be right back. Alright, so here we are. Found us a little base camp here. So, we're going to check out this, see what's going on here. Now, this is my spaceship, by the way. I didn't really show you it because it's the basic one, and I'm embarrassed. I don't want to show you it. So, <laughs> well, I'm going to be saving up my money so that I can get a really nice one. But anyway, let's see what we've got going on over here. So, we've got all these little stations kind of spread out. Oh, this is an abandoned one. Okay, so, abandoned station right here. Let's take out the gun. I wish I actually threw some, uh, th some enemies in here or something. That would be really cool. But there aren't. Uh, so, over here... Oh! Can we activate that? Wait, what was that? Did I just get hit by something? That was weird. Okay, so let's grab this cargo stuff. Now this is where we'll find just some basic resources. I haven't actually found too much of a use for these abandoned ones. I mean, they do have your multi-tool mods and stuff. Let's see if we can, no, we can't, out, we can't activate it. What else we got over here? Oh, this looks like it's important. Alright, so, it looked like a wound on the world, crimson and ragged edged, like something that I once lived but then was torn asunder. I should have stayed away, had the sense to taste the air of this planet, blah blah blah, was it dead? Nothing. Okay, so what we've got is I've discovered something coded deep inside the long dead, oh, okay, so this is just gonna give us a blueprint here. Okay, I thought that was actually going to give us a puzzle or something, but turns out it was just a blueprint. So, that's that. We've got another storage container. What else we got over here? Anything else of interest? Maybe down this hall? And now, these parts, like, with these, little, like, like, uh, I don't know, like, the rooms and the, and the broken bases and stuff, it really reminds me of Subnautica. 
on land. <laughs> if you've played Subnautica, it's very similar to the feel of these little, like, even the planters on the wall make me- What are you doing? <laughs> that sentinel just came and ran into me. Why are you even in here? Okay, so we just got us another, another upgrade for our ship. He's just floating around in here. Annoying little thing. Can we pick that up? Nope. I wish you could pick up some of the free-floating stuff on the ground, uh, but you could only, you know, access, like, two kinds of containers. It's, it's interesting. But anyway, I think that's it for this. I think, yeah. I'm not seeing anything else in this, in this broken-up base, so why don't we go check out something else? I'll, I'll kind of bring you in when I find something interesting along the way. Alright, so here we are. I've been just trying to finish off this planet, you know? I'm like 75% done, but we're gonna do a little combat now. I found this one. Now, this is actually... Do I have any space? Uh, I don't know if I have any space in my inventory, but I got a, a better weapon for sure. So we're gonna be better off uh, fighting these guys. Now, this one actually gathers a lot more stuff. I've got a grenade attachment uh, put onto it now. These things, uh, the platinum, is actually a really, really expensive resource, so it's actually really good to pick this up uh, when you find these ruins, but all you gotta do is blow this stuff up. The normal gun attachment doesn't actually work, or the actual mining attachment doesn't work, and now we've alerted them. Come here. Um, he's like, he's already gonna be able to alert people by the time he gets over the hill. So when that, uh, that little exclamation mark fills up, he'll bring friends, so let's kill him. I think we made it in time. Oh yeah, we're good to go. Okay. And also killing the drones in general gets you titanium, which is a good good resource. So let's just steal all their platinum. I don't really need health, but I'll take it. <laughs> hey, oh. Get out of here. All right. So I do want to upgrade my uh, laser beam to like a burst one so it actually feels like a gun instead of just a straight beam. Oh, bolt caster. Okay, yeah, I think that's actually what it was. Something, something like a bolt caster. One of these guys. Yeah, where it's actually not just a continuous stream because I'd like the feel of actually having a, like a, a decent like, I don't know, gun, <laughs> which is actually pretty cool. So let's continue to destroy these. It seems like every time I blow up one of the cylinders, a new pack comes. So I just want to kill those before they alert. You know, more of them. So let's see here. I'm just gonna blow this up. I gotta reload though. Why are you not reloading? Sometimes, oh, it is reloaded. That's weird. Okay. Well, as you can see, <laughs> mining beam does not work. Okay, now, now we can reload it. How convenient. Okay, so blow this up. Get all of our platinum. We just robbed them of all their stuff, and now we'll kill them when they come to to, to get mad at us about it. So we'll take them out. Where are they at? Oh, he's right there. Is that out of distance? No, this has actually got some distance. There's some range on it. Boom. Explosion. Well, this is this is pretty much the combat um, if you're on the ground. Now, you can attack the wildlife and stuff. But that's just mean. And it doesn't really give you anything useful. Uh, so, sentinels are pretty much your your combat in this game. Uh, along with, the, of course, like the dog fighting. So, another thing that I saw over here was this sweet little cave. Now, with the uh, grenade gun, or uh, the, the grenade attachment uh, for my multi-tool, you can just blow holes in the ground. So you can actually just find hidden cave systems and stuff. I've actually blown some holes in random areas, and you can actually find cave systems that don't actually have an entrance to them, which is interesting. So we've got some plutonium here. <coughs> what else we got? Oh, there's an entr there's an entrance right above us. Didn't really have to blow my way in. Let's let's just transfer as much of this over to the ship as I possibly can. Just trying to fill up the stacks in there. Okay, so let's let's go this way. Let's go away from the entrance. So these caves are all procedurally generated as well. So some of them turn out to be really really tiny, just holes in the ground, and some of them turn into huge caverns. Like this one seems to be quite a big cavern. But that being said, they're not that much, they're not much better for resources. Like, there's not much in here. But when they add base building into this game, oh my gosh, these caves. Be able to terraform them out with the grenades. So, as you can see, like, if I just shoot all the way up here, I don't know how many it's going to take. There we go. 
as you can see there is the ceiling you can actually just blow your way into the cave systems uh, just like that you can terraform the whole ground once you've got grenades and whatnot so I think that's pretty cool so let's move on here all right so I was kind of mentioning this one at the beginning the monoliths when compared to the ruins so this one actually gives you words as well just like the ruin uh, that we checked out at the beginning but look at this you can see that other planet just kind of hovering in the background over there look at how just amazing the game looks just from when, when you get into some of these certain views and stuff it's just breathtaking to actually check out what's going on but anyway this is a pretty cool looking one it's just like a, a piece of metal sticking out of the ground so we've got this monolith and now this should actually open up and I believe we'll, we'll get another one of these things we'll see if this one does anything separate or different than the ruins so we're opening up okay cool okay and yeah this will just help me with the language as well it looks like so let's just do that and we've learned a couple we we learned the geck word for geck <laughs> interesting all right so here we are and I found some really cool animals and I actually want to feed these ones so these guys take some heridium. They either usually take heridium or carbon. These animals, when I kill them, they give me the heridium, so that's interesting. But anyway, we've got him. He's going to be scavenging around for us here. Hey, what's up, buddy? Can we feed you too? We can feed multiple ones at a time? Oh, man. If you, if, if you found a pack, you could just, like, tame them all up. All right, so let's, let's grab the zinc. Did I scan that already? Yep. Okay, so they're going to search for some stuff for me. Okay, yeah, what do you got here? I apologize that it's dark too, I just found these guys and was so excited about it. I don't know how long the day-night cycles are. Okay, so he's got a magnifying glass and he found us some Thallium 9. So we can grab that. Oh, my inventory is full. Let's transfer over some of it quick. Uh, but anyway, these will find some interesting things. They find these little gem type things. Uh, I don't really know what to call them. They don't have a name. Uh, and they just kind of contain a random resource or something like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, maybe one of them will find one of them soon. Okay, here we go. I think he found some plutonium or something. Oh, no. Thallium. Okay. So he... I mean, it might be useful to actually tame up a whole bunch of these and have them scavenge around for you. But I think you would need a lot of them to make it more, more beneficial. So... Oh, here it is. This little gem substance is what it says. Inventory is full. Let's just drop. I just need to drop something because this is going to be worth more than that. This is actually worth. These are, are really worthwhile resources. So, nickel. Awesome. We only got a couple of it, but that is an, an expensive one. So, that's really good to have. Now, the the taming of these creatures actually seems like it's useful. Oh, I can't break it down for anything. Yeah, so I don't know if this little creature just dug up that little gem, but I've never seen any of these substance type things anywhere else. So I'm assuming that these guys actually acquire them for you. So, uh, yeah, our inventory is full anyway. They're just kind of walking around like crazy. Now, their AI isn't uh, isn't quite the best. I mean, it, they don't they don't really touch the ground like you would normally they kind of walk through each other <laughs> but it's it's goofy I'm sure it'll be fixed uh, at some point I think it'd be really cool to actually be able to tame these and collect them like bring them with you on your spaceship uh, let's see here I actually didn't search inside of here I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this multi-tool okay so we got a new tech and I'll let them search here for a second see if they find any more stuff so let's see here Oh, so you can go in and out of buildings, and they remain tamed. I wonder how long they actually stay tamed to you. What else we got over here? We got a little archway. We're still waiting for them to search for stuff. One thing that we can do is actually use a bypass chip. Now, this is something... Uh, I couldn't find the bypass chip for a while, uh, but here it is. So if you just... I don't want to drop the nickel. I need to drop something here so we can craft in our inventory. Um, I'll just, thallium? Can I transfer this over? I really hate dropping resources. Okay, we'll just drop it. Okay, but now in this slot here, we can actually build our bypass chip. Takes plutonium. Is it most, what, plutonium and carbon? So we've got that. And now what we can do 
is actually have this thing scan for whichever one of these we would like. So we can have it scan for a shelter here. And it should find us. Oh yeah, there it is. So we've got a shelter off in the distance that I can go search and whatnot. So I can add another chip into that thing and find another structure. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. Oh, we found something. Oh, look at this one's a different color. See, yeah, he definitely brought that in. Ir iridium? I haven't even seen that yet. Oh, yeah. That's costly. Okay, so, yeah, these guys actually do some... Oh, he's sad. Oh, why are you so sad? There you go. There's some food, buddy. Okay, so they do untame from you after a bit of time. Did you get me something? Where is it? I don't see anything. Oh, no. They probably, like, teleported on the ground or something. <laughs> so, that's how the taming or the feeding process works, or th making creatures your friends, which is really cool. Uh, once they add base building and whatnot, I sure hope that we could actually pick up and take some of the cool creatures that we find on some of the planets, though. Alright, so, this is where we're going to stop. This is going to be the last little little spot on our journey um, today for the first video in No Man's Sky. And definitely, if you did like it, definitely hit that thumbs up. Let me know uh, if this is something that I should definitely keep doing or not. <laughs> so anyway, we've got this ruinous structure here. This is just one of the more intricate ones that I saw on the face of the planet. Sorry it's dark again, but I was just so excited to see this thing. So this is... Uh, another one where I can learn words at but I just wanted to show you kind of on the way out just how crazy cool this is and how some of these procedurally generated stuff really turns out really awesome so as you can see I can let's see here can we walk right up this I hope it I hope we could walk up it I haven't seen one of this variety yet okay so we can walk right up here learn our words up at the terminal up here and that's where we're going to stop for today. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, definitely hit a thumbs up if you liked it and or subscribe for more content. Otherwise, you all have a great rest of your day and we'll catch you next time.